Have you watched Groundhog Day starring Bill Murray and Andy McDowell? It is about a cynical and self-absorbed man who get caught in the same time loop. Every time he wakes up in the morning, it is the same day every day. It is irrelevant with our pandemic that is going on and on and on. People are tired, angry, hopeless, and sometimes it feels like the end of the world. In the movie, he hates his life and trying so hard in a non-loving way to change the day, and it didn't work. It is until he changed his perspective about what happened. He transforms himself into a loving, warm, and helpful man, and he doesn't care about tomorrow so much because he is busy enjoying the now moment, which is always today. We have the choice whether we want to be the part of the drama and chaos, or we can take our power back and squeeze all the sweet juice from the pandemic. Most people don't realize that we actually have a choice. We get sucked into the collective suffering. We forget that we have power and free will to create the life that we want. How to stay calm during this crazy time? It is by remembering our true essence, our true self, by discovering who we really are beyond our name, status, money, and roles. Who are you if everything is taken away? Who are you if you don't have money, losing your family, job, and everything? At first, I found it very hard and almost impossible to even think of it without feeling depressed. Why do we feel depressed when confronted by something unusual? Because we put our self-worth on the external thing. We glorify our materialism and status without the presence of our inner worth. If you feel depressed right now, congratulations, you are about to change and grow. Yes, it is scary and it can feel so lonely and isolated. You are in the cocoon phase just like in the butterfly metamorphosis. It is a needed process that cannot be bypassed. Maybe you're tired of hearing quotes like, you already have everything inside. At first, I was triggered too with any quotes like that. All of my anger and limitation are rushing out to the surface. And it took me three years to finally integrate those feelings and move on. Let this pandemic and all of the suffering be the bridge to your real happiness. True happiness is something that isn't depend on external things. It is an everlasting feeling that is always there in the background of our mind. It never left me, it is always there. The true happiness is real. Even though you don't always feel it, but you know that it is there. It is such a beautiful feeling. It is the best feeling in the world that no one can take it away. If you think I'll be happy when the pandemic is over, or I'll be happy when my partner changes, or I'll be happy when I have my own house. The happiness will always be in the future. Even if it happens, the happiness will not last long. Our ego will always find something to chase. I know this is hard, super hard. Sometimes I found myself avoiding it at all costs. 
I become paralyzed because of my fears and that is my lessons from this past six months. Wanting to be perfect is an illusion. I'm having a hard time too. Wanting to control the outcome. Wanting things to work my way. Wanting to prove myself until I realize that it is my shadow or my ego that wants to be seen and loved. Sometimes we don't have to do physical things to change something. We just need to do it mentally and energetically. Changing the perspective and reanalyze our belief system that doesn't cater to our highest good. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look change. Change the way you look at your suffering and the suffering will be your teacher. Change the way you look at pandemic and the pandemic will be your greatest awakener. Take the first step into the most important journey of a human's life that will lead you into the everlasting emotional fulfillment that cannot be taken away from you because it is inside and it is formless. Not even that can scare you because you know deep inside that our soul is eternal. We are the extension of God or source or the universe or whatever you want to call it. What we see and know is only a fractal of the unlimited and boundless universe. We don't have to know about everything. We just have to know that we have the power of love inside that will lead us into liberation. Another way to stay calm is to breathe with your eyes closed. Put your right hand in your heart and your left hand in the tummy. Take a deep, long breath mindfully and slowly. Feel the love in your heart that is expanding and soothing the soul. Imagine the pure white light from your heart is expanding bigger and bigger. The light is healing and comforting. You are enough. You are loved and you are safe. This choco cupcakes is my favorite. It is fudgy, chocolatey and moist. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to support me. Bye. Thank you.